Some elementary examples of groups in mathematics are given on group. Further examples are listed here. Permutations of a set of three elements. Consider three colored blocks, initially placed in the order RGB. Let it be the operation, swap the first block and the second block, and B be the operation, swap the second block and the third block. We can write x, y for the operation, first do y, then do x, so that ab is the operation rgb rbgb rg, which could be described as, move the first two blocks one position to the right and put the third block into the first position. If we write e for, leave the blocks as they are, then we can write the six permutations of the three blocks as follows, e, rgb rgb, a, rgb grb. B, RGB RBG, AB, RGB BRG, BAR, RGB GBR, ABA, RGB BGR. Note that AA has the effect RGB GRB RGB, so we can write AA equals E. Similarly, BB equals equals E, equals equals E, so every element has an inverse. By inspection, we can determine associativity and closure. Note in particular that B equals ABBA equals B. Since it is built up from the basic operations A and B, we say that the set A, B generates this group. The group, called the symmetric group S3, has order 6, and is non-abelian. The group of translations of the plane. A translation of the plane is a rigid movement of every point of the plane for a certain distance in a certain direction. For instance, move in the northeast direction for 2 miles, is a translation of the plane. If you have two such translations A and B, they can be composed to form a new translation A B as follows. First follow the prescription of B, then that of A. For instance, if A equals move northeast for 3 miles, and B equals move southeast for 4 miles, then A B equals move east for 5 miles. The set of all translations of the plane with composition as operation forms a group. If A and B translations, then A B is also a translation. Composition of translations is associative. C equals A. The identity element for this group is the translation with prescription, move zero miles in whatever direction you like. The inverse of a translation is given by walking in the opposite direction for the same distance. This is an abelian group and our first example of a Lie group, a group which is also a manifold. The symmetry group of a square, dihedral group of order 8. Groups are very important to describe the symmetry of objects, be they geometrical or algebraic. As an example, we consider a glass square of a certain thickness. In order to describe its symmetry, we form the set of all those rigid movements of the square that don't make a visible difference. For instance, if you turn it by 90 degrees clockwise, then it still looks the same. So this movement is one element of our set, let's call it A. We could also flip it horizontally so that its underside become up. Again, after performing this movement, the glass square looks the same. So this is also an element of our set and we call it B. Then there's of course the movement that does nothing, it's denoted by E. Now if you have two such movements x and y, you can define the composition x, y as above. You first perform the movement y and then the movement x. The result will leave the slab looking like before. The point is that the set of all those movements, with composition as operation, forms a group. This group is the most concise description of the square's symmetry. Semists use symmetry groups of this type to describe the symmetry of crystals and molecules. Let's investigate our square's symmetry groups and more. Right now, we have the elements A, B and E, but we can easily form more. For instance A, a also written as A2, is a 180 degrees degree turn. A3 is a 270 degrees clockwise rotation. We also see that B2 equals E and also A4 equals E. Here's an interesting one. What does a B do? First flip horizontally, then rotate. 
Try to visualize that a B equals B A3. Also, A2B is a vertical flip and is equal to B A2. This group of order 8 has the following Cayley table. For any two elements in the group, the table records what their composition is. Here we wrote a 3B as a shorthand for A3B. Mathematicians know this group as the dihedral group of order 8 and call it either DIH4, D4 or D8 depending on what notation they use for dihedral groups. This was an example of a non-obelian group. The operation here is not commutative, which you can see from the table. The table is not symmetrical about the main diagonal. The dihedral group of order 8 is isomorphic to the permutation group generated by n matrix groups. If n is some positive integer, we can consider the set of all invertible n by n matrices over the rails. Say, this is a group with matrix multiplication as operation. It is called the general linear group, GL. Geometrically, it contains all combinations of rotations, reflections, dilations and skew transformations of n-dimensional Euclidean space that fix a given point. If we restrict ourselves to matrices with determinant 1, then we get another group, the special linear group, SL. Geometrically, this consists of all the elements of GL that preserve both orientation and volume of the various geometric solids in Euclidean space. If instead we restrict ourselves to orthogonal matrices, then we get the orthogonal group O. Geometrically, this consists of all combinations of rotations and reflections that fix the origin. These are precisely the transformations which preserve lengths and angles. Finally, if we impose both restrictions, then we get the special orthogonal group O, which consists of rotations only. These groups are our first examples of infinite non-obelian groups. They are also happen to be Lie groups. In fact, most of the important Lie groups can be expressed as matrix groups. If this idea is generalized to matrices with complex numbers as entries, then we get further useful Lie groups, such as the unitary group U. We can also consider matrices with quaternions as entries. In this case, there is no well-defined notion of a determinant. But we can still define a group analogous to the orthogonal group, the symplectic group SP. Furthermore, the idea can be treated purely algebraically with matrices over any field, but then the groups are not Lie groups. For example, we have the general linear groups over finite fields. The group theorist J. L. Alperin has written that the typical example of a finite group is GL, the general linear group of n dimensions over the field with Q elements. The student who is introduced to the subject with other examples is being completely misled of the American Mathematical Society. 10,121 Free Group on Two Generators the free group with two generators A and B consists of all finite strings that can be formed from the four symbols A, A-1, B and B-1 such that no appears directly next to an A-1 and no B appears directly next to a B-1. Two such strings can be concatenated and converted into a string of this type by repeatedly replacing the forbidden substrings with the empty string. For instance, ABAB minus 1A minus 1, concatenated with ABAB minus 1A, yields ABAB minus 1A minus 1 ABAB minus 1A, which gets reduced to ABAB minus 1A. One can check that the set of those strings with this operation forms a group with neutral element, the empty string epsilon, equals. This is another infinite non-obelian group. Free groups are important in algebraic topology. The free group in two generators is also used for a proof of the Banach-Tarshi paradox. The set of maps. The sets of maps from a set to a group let G be a group and S a non-empty set. The set of maps M is itself a group, namely for two maps F, G of S into G we define F, G to be the map such that equals F, G for every X, S and F minus 1 to be the map such that F minus 1 equals F minus 1. Take maps F, G and H in M. For every X in S, F and G are both in G, and so is. 
Therefore f g is also an m, or m is closed. For h equals h equals g, h equals a f h equals f equals m is associative, and there is a map i such that i equals e where e is the unit element of g. The map i makes all the functions f in m such that if equals phi equals f, or i is the unit element of m. Thus, m is actually a group. If g is commutative, then equals f g equals g f equals. Therefore so is M. The groups of permutations let G be the set of bijective mappings of a set S onto itself. Then G, also denoted by perm or sim, is a group with ordinary composition of mappings. The unit element of G is the identity map of S. For two maps F and G and G are bijective, F G is also bijective. Therefore G is closed. The composition of maps is associative, hence G is a group. S may be either finite or infinite. Some more finite groups. List of small groups. List of the 230 crystallographic 3D space groups.